Weather Authority Forecast, sponsored by Current Electrical, your Generac Superstore. The rain has just not let up across portions of northwest Alabama. That's why we have flash flood warnings in effect for areas of showers that have just been training over the same areas again and again since last night. Let's take you to this first one in Coleman County and Morgan counties. A flash flood warning until 1030 this morning, including Hartsville, Flockville, South Beaumont, Coleman and Good Hope. And look at the radar estimated rainfall totals with this storm over the past 24 hours. 8.1 inches just to the west of Hartzell, 7.1 just to the west of Coleman. Jumping to the north here, we've got another flash flood warning that goes until 915 this morning for Lawrence County, for Colbert County, and for Lauderdale County until 915. Look at some of the radar estimated rainfall totals here around the Moulton area. 7.1 inches to the north of Moulton, 7.6 inches and rain. a lot of rain here and some more rain to come as we go through the next couple of hours. That is why we are seeing flooding concerns. So who is at risk for flooding? Well, areas that have already seen some heavy rainfall last night and into this morning. Areas that are prone to flooding could flood today and we'll be watching small creeks, rivers and streams for rises as we go through the weekend. And remember when flooded, when you're on the road, turn around, don't drown, don't enter into those flood waters. A flood watch remains in effect until seven o'clock this evening for the county shaded in green here across North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. Here's a live look from Florence Harbor. Things are cloudy and rainy this morning as the rain continues to come down over northwest Alabama from Huntsville Hospital. Things are starting to pick up again in the rainfall across downtown Huntsville, Albertville. You are nice and cloudy this morning. That's going to keep our temperatures down into the 60s and 70s, 72 in Huntsville, 70 in Muscle Shoals right now, 71 in Fort Payne. Your patio forecast for today, not looking great. We've got showers and even some embedded thunderstorms possible as we go towards the lunchtime temperatures coming up into those lower 70s. How about some of those college games? Looking pretty good for the Alabama game in Wisconsin. No rain expected there, but everybody else is going to be dealing with showers and thunderstorms as we go through the games later on this evening. Oktoberfest looking pretty wet out at Redstone Arsenal Activity Field both on Saturday and on Sunday. We'll continue to have rain chances through the weekend with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. Timing out our future cast here. More rain continuing to come down as we go through the morning and leading up to lunchtime. More scattered showers possible as we head into the afternoon and overnight tonight into Sunday morning. So more wet weather expected to come as we head into Sunday morning. Sam Mountain over the next seven days. Here's what to expect. We'll keep the showers around through the weekend. Then we head into drier conditions into the upcoming work week with temperatures coming back up into the lower 80s. The shoals, you'll deal with those showers and storms through Sunday. Then things will turn drier as we head into the upcoming work week with temperatures returning to the upper 80s. And for the Huntsville metro area, showers and storms is the story for this weekend. Drier into the upcoming work week.